for that new TV with the four colors that uh, interact with the film. Well, if you my more advanced, more advanced way would be a star pattern like this. See how these Rubik's cubes? They're supposed to be able to transform. And let's see. Yeah. Anyways, if those were to turn and catch the light at different angles, that would really be useful for getting the good colors on the screen. Kaiwi. Kawaii, more like. Send me to Kawaii. Anyways, it doesn't exist for you guys. It's the this the. 25th island along the Hawaiian chain towards old Japan that doesn't exist because they were fake Chinese communists. Anyways, um, you see this Rubik's Cube. I just want to uh, connect that to what I'm saying, actually, guys. Um, everybody's obsessed. So we need a Rubik's Cube that uh, pay me technology with a little bit of fuck you. Um, like, is a projector that like projects... The symbols on the ceiling and walls, so like you can set at the center of your like living room on your coffee table there, where you put your feet when your wife screams at you to not, but it's there to put your feet on it. You know that dynamic, and um, it projects whatever you want out of it on the ceiling with like liquid caramel colors of like the plain Rubik's cube, or it can do like crystalline dimensions like this with fruit shapes that are all like 3D looking on the ceiling and walls, like whatever you know. Like real quality lasers um, for each spot, then you can experiment with that towards achieving, you know, actual laser projection from that spot where you're not supposed to put your legs because it blocks the signal of the 3D display. Like theaters are going to have this, you know, pro projection with mist, you know, in the 40X. So it's like there's actual fighting creatures swooping around you, you know, all that kind of stuff that was reserved for, like, going to, um, some sort of amusement park with special glasses or something back in the day. That's just going to be movies in the future. So this is a good way to experiment and get your laser tech down in the living room and get your quadrants down with Rubik's Cube, you know, because then everybody acts like the cube controls all and the destiny will continue, you know. Also, I'm probably going to put a Rubik's Cube into um, my new Transformers movie series because everyone's obsessed with Rubik's Cubes. So I'm just going to pander to that, I guess. Till next time. See, this one here with simple, you know, bronze sheeting arrangement at different angles in a slight 3D plane, you know, that's see-through slightly, you can achieve amazing sheen changes. So this is what needs to be experimented with in-plane technology sheeting, the lasers going through it of different types, with bronze sheeting or whatever, because it's the cheapest, and just make beautiful colors that fill your living room. That, too, is in preparation for, you know, well, movie it's just scenes. It's the same technology of this, but yeah. color alteration. Exactly. Same as the uh, 3D dolphins. Same as know. 3D glasses that are made at different angles yeah. for movies. We're just going to say this technology. Imagine it. You go to a theater and you got dolphins, you know, swimming all around you above your seats. And then the actual screen's all refractive like this, fully in color, not just blue, you know, how this one is. Because it's, like, cheap, you know. <laughs> yeah, the blue color. See, look. Look, it matches. But directly. it'll change. It'll change. Boom. See? See that? See, this isn't about solving this Rubik's Cube. I guess Zeus could solve this Rubik's Cube. Yeah, he's the only person. Yeah, give it to him. He'll solve it. The real Zeus. Yep. <laughs> Pretty cool. Dolphins probably would think that's even cool. Yep. We're going to make movies for dolphins. Like, they can line up, you know, in coves, and they can, uh, we can project movies for them that they want to watch. This is not... Silver, by the way, this is not this shards of silver. This is shards of chrome activated with orange acid. Chrome technology is going to be used in your living room. Not silver ion technology, because silver is too heavy. It causes damage. Chrome is better for you. So stop experimenting with silver trying to achieve laser technology. Just stop. That's for, like, NASA. Also, stop fucking touching silver you're disgusting wash your fucking hands with something other than sodium fuck you yeah you're actually poisoning yourself and like creating heat hot the metal heats up when you hold it too long doesn't it you're radioactive 
and and fuck that song. No. All right, I lost my triangle-shaped Rubik's cube. Uh, I don't know if you guys can even look up an example online. Triangle Rubik's cubes, they exist. I can solve them easily. I can write a book about it, but that's boring. I don't do boring things. Instead, you know how the color area that everybody's using, the color space is like a gem reflection and like kind of like a cast angle like as though it's like a pixel plane at a certain angle it's bizarre i don't know what they're basing this color angle off of you know like 705 rec all those different things or adobe rgb or something but they're triangle shapes so i'm just saying if you really want to capture a color space that they're using that spectrum and that angle, wouldn't you want to make the screens actually have tiny pixels that are pyramids upside down so that like there's a laser at each point going out into creating the different color spectrum as it splits through refraction into that shape, into those colors, you know, and then you can choose from the hue, you know? Just saying, I'm sorry I don't have the triangle Rubik's Cube, but I never should have lost it. I, I should have had the full set. You know how it is.